for all those who are solo travelers and are looking for some quality accommodation options in hotels in Benidorm town for all those who would want to see how much is the less expensive room costs out here in Benidorm is today's video welcome back to the channel Benidorm by Anna and today I will show you some hotels option there's gonna be around six or seven of them here in the city center of Benidorm right in the heart of it next to the huge park close to the Mediterranean Avenue towards all the night entertainment and obviously the beach and the old town let's go and explore it together how much does it cost for a solo traveler a night in Benidorm hotels number one in today's video is the three stars hotel Prince Park they have a special offer which is called amigo a friend and with this offer you do get an additional discount for your reservation if you book it directly with them they do have individual rooms which are quite spacious and one night costs right now around from 52 to 57 euros the bed and breakfast is the minimum service and it costs you 52.29 half board costs you 55 euros either breakfast and lunch or breakfast and dinner or full board which is 57 euros just two euros difference for an extra meal i think it's a great deal for this hotel very quiet area there's not any kind of pubs and nightclubs around it when we do have celebrations in november for example or christmas celebrations it is slightly more busy and there's a lot of noise from the fair and the christmas fair but apart from that the rest of the year it's really really nice and some of the rooms have gorgeous views towards the la iguera park which is this one that you can see right now this is where also all the parades are finishing all the concerts are usually happening so before you book this hotel even though it's really really nice they have gym they have the swimming pool before you book it make sure there's no concerts at night hours when you are arriving check the benidorm's event calendar beforehand but it's a recommended place to come especially if you want some quieter holidays away from all the town's noise from here we will be checking six more to be exact hotels that are in this area located nearby and we're heading downhill right by the Legueta park this is where by the way the christmas fair is happening this is where all the parades are finishing such as the benidorm pride the three kings parade benidorm's carnival the different types of celebrations november fiestas moors and christians etc all these parades are ending up right here at Legueta Park. There's a lot of nice spaces to enjoy the weather, for children to run, practice different types of sports, there's children's playgrounds, there's place to go with your pets. So it's a lung of a kind, it's a green lung of Benidorm. Incredible area that you need to visit and in summer it's so pleasant because there's a lot of shade there's a lot of natural shade where you can hide and wait a tiny bit before you go on the sun back again here you have some services nearby the hospital private hospital hcb benny dorm hospital clinic benny dorm is located here nearby there is uh, pharmacies there is supermarkets there are some tapas bars like this one right here in front which is called la caseta like the small house this is a restaurant bar ice cream place cafeteria bar tapas place all in one how spanish love to do it very reasonably and nicely priced i must say so it's not too expensive you can also find here mercadona supermarket typical spanish supermarket it's actually been it's been created here in valencian community and right there at the bottom you do see some children's playgrounds and what the park is actually looking like so mercadona supermarket is where we locals do shop a lot of the times it's not the cheapest one cheapest would be id or lidl supermarkets but 
it's a typical spanish place where you could go to buy any type of groceries including fresh meat uh, fresh fish and all the rest of products for your stay here in benidorm if you want to cook or maybe at least have something for short breakfast before you head to explore benidorm town and surrounding area we also have some apartments nearby today's video is not gonna be about them in particular but i do want to mention them because that's a very nice place to stay at least that's what we've heard from a lot of people who've chosen this these apartments for their holidays maybe if some one of these apartments will see this video hopefully we might be able to show you this year 2024 some apart hotel and apartment options because a lot of them are quite nice and this is more recommended for a longer period of stay these are apartments michelangelo they're called and they do have a four star review on google on average it's around 55 euros that a night would cost for two people here if it's gonna be only one person the price would be exactly the same around 55 54 uh, euros so it doesn't change too much even for solo travelers because that's one entire apartment right here we have the second hotel we would like to let you know about this is the lovely and gorgeous four star superior hotel primavera park incredible place i love the design of it we've actually filmed the whole entire video for you guys exclusively from this hotel so if you want to check it out just put Betty dorm by anna primavera park hotel and you will see the video or go directly to the list hotels in benidorm there you will see all the hotels that we filmed here on the channel we were the first ones to start filming the sagas and inside reviews of the hotels so there's quite a lot here to choose from great common areas the rooms that they have actually are not individual but once again you are able to book them as one single person this is simply called a double room obviously you can grab even premium with high uh, high views where you can even see a little bit of the mediterranean sea and the beach uh, but apart from that it costs from 60 euros on self-catering bed and breakfast 67 euros half board 74 and full board 79 euros the small minuscular difference between half board and full board is actually surprising no wonder there are a lot of people decide to choose full board unless you will be a lot of the time outside but then still i would choose a full board and the days i won't be using it that's fine there's just a couple of euros difference isn't it not too bad and they have great food they have great common areas brand new it's been built from scratch gorgeous hotel in one of the best locations in benidorm town if you want some slightly quieter holidays they have an exclusive rooftop terrace which is where they do some performances some dj sessions especially in summer season from here we are moving all together towards a street that has a lot of different hotels options which is where there is also pretty much favorite brand of a hotel chain of the hotel which is rh and we'll be checking quite a few of their hotels but before that we have another one to see which is hotel benidorm plaza this lovely hotel right here it's a four stars one and it's a nice alternative however right now it's slightly higher than all the previous hotels mm, to be honest with you the full board of this hotel is the most expensive of all the others they have good common areas it's a very big hotel so probably in summer it's going to be extremely busy it might be even slightly noisy simply due to the fact that there's a lot of families who will be coming there's a huge tower and another smaller building attached to it from here you have a direct road towards the triangular square where the bingo is located where the techno hit is located and straight road to the beach just maybe five minutes time 
you will be at the beach which is why we say this is one of the best locations in Benidorm if you want something quieter but still be close to everything in this hotel there are no individual rooms back again but double rooms you can take it for one single person from 75 euros on self catering bed and breakfast 81 half board 91 and full board a whole hundred euros yes 100 euros right now for one night in this hotel right in front of it we have our age hotels even though they did not answer us and ghosted us for a long time didn't answer our emails when they promised us to kind of film inside of their hotels but we need to be fair these are nice accommodation options so we don't really have anything bad to say about them except for that that they've ghosted us after uh, talking about filming inside of these hotels so in any case hotel royal adults oriented adults recommended four stars hotel lovely location once again and they do have free cancellation they do have nice rooms and individual rooms too yay finally individual rooms bed and breakfast 73 euros there is an option on self-catering 69.49 that's strange they do also put it with cents more or less 69 euros half board here costs 81 euros and full board 88 see that's more or less reasonable price not the 100 euros 100 euros are more for spring towards summer season but not now end of january although what we are seeing is the tendency to not to lower the prices so much because the season kind of continues here we have sister hotel which is hotel victoria this is not adults recommended only so children are allowed to stay here technically and this one's been remodeled not so long ago they did refresh all the common areas the main lobby the hotel from the outside painted it white fresh and nice uh, they did a lot of lovely changes in this hotel and people know it and people value it it's also a four-star hotel they do also have individual rooms these ones are slightly more expensive than their sister hotel for adults only bed and breakfast here minimum service bed and breakfast 78 euros 53 cents for one person half board 87 and full board 94 euros 95 cents the good thing about this at the end of this particular street you will have the beginning of the Girona Street, which is where all the restaurants, cafeterias and bars are located. And then if you start going towards the Rincon de Loig, there's all the entertainment you could want. So these types of options, these hotels that we're showing you on today are incredible because they're close to everything, close to the Girona Street, night entertainment, close to the beach, close to the city center, the old town. Everything is nearby. And from here, we're heading towards this big lady right here. Another hotel from RH. This time, it's Hotel Princesa. This is a one big hotel, uh, which is extremely popular between many visitors here in Benidorm. Here nearby, you can find some press things for articles and accessories for the beach, for children to play in the sand. Uh, even newspapers, press, some snacks, drinks, food. And right here, nearby, there's a lot of typical restaurants that do offer menus for as little as 11 euros. That's a very good price. Oh, let's, let's let the car pass. That's a very good price for all the menus. One of these places is right here on the right side that you can see the terrace right now. 11 euros for a menu another one is right here on the left incredible that's a very cheap menu it's not going to be something out of the other world but it's a nice tasty typical spanish food if you're looking for something on a budget that might be a great two or three course meal what can be better than that this is the hotel princesa the hotel princesa is four stars lovely hotel four stars superior to be exact 
a very big hotel so in summer there's gonna be a lot of children there's gonna be a lot of noise but i somehow love the design of it they have a very nice swimming pool here you can get some snacks ice cream um it's a good location once again it's a nice quality hotel that they've turned into a four star superior wow that's a good shift different room types out here and this hotel does have individual rooms bed and breakfast for 58 euros only individual room half board 65 and full board 71 euros per person these were almost all the hotels the last one is back at the laguera park right next to all the main celebrations built from scratch a lot of it just a couple of years ago which is the bristol hotel let's go and check it out leaving the previous hotels behind us we are moving through the street of emilio ortuño this is where previously we did have some winter markets now it's not the case this street this part of the street is kind of abandoned there's a lot of closed businesses there's some building work going on and the restaurants that are here nearby as you can see there in front of us slightly towards the right are absolutely abandoned and closed only a few businesses working like insurance companies but all the rest is unexistent i wonder why it is the case i do hope that by summer season maybe these businesses will open up back again someone will take them because that's a nice sunny terrace here for example why the business is not working not too sure but someone could take it and invest a tiny bit in it and just make a nice lovely terrace for people to enjoy the sunshine because that's what it gets right in front of us we have the bar el puente which is where you can find some the best roast chicken in benidorm straight road towards the old town and here by the bridge we have the famous bristol hotel which is four stars superior hotel that's been remodeled on one side which is this one right here you can see in front and the other side was built from scratch and all of it right now has one entire lovely gorgeous design they did make a brand new terrace on the top right above the letters bristol hotel this is a four star superior hotel by the way there is some nice common area right there with a swimming pool with some sun beds great option for executive breakfast as they call it in general different breakfast options by the way that one costs around 350 390 less than four euros great complete breakfast typical spanish way and apart from that it's just a nice hotel it's overall it's a nice hotel people love it people keep coming in this hotel has a club bristol which is only for members there is a normal room it's called superior room for one person or individual superior room with the view of the town two different options normal one for one or individual and the price is exactly the same in self-catering 63 euros 65 with bed and breakfast 71 half board and full board 72 euros these were only a few single room options some of these hotels do not offer singular rooms as it is but what they do offer instead is a double room for only one person slightly more expensive than singular ones are but still these are not bad prices for right now taking into consideration we have more than 22 degrees outside it's absolutely insane it's very hot and uh, the weather is incredible the average occupancy is more than 65 percent so we couldn't be happier which is why the prices did not drop as much here in this particular area right next to all the main attractions entertainment and services thank you for accompanying us in today's video and if you would like to see some more solo travelers places or budget options for you to stay here in 2024 let us know here in the comments section thank you for accompanying us and we'll see you in a new video bye geez.